Hello, everyone. How are you? Juan, your English teacher today, uh, an intermediate lesson um, on speaking, um, also for listening. Uh, the question is, how fast, uh, how fast um, you have to practice, how fast you learn the language and how you have to deal with this learning process if you want to learn English faster. Well, um, what I always say, uh, besides, there's another thing, which is um, some people want it fast and cheap, but that's another thing. You know, uh, one day we'll talk about that. By the way, uh, in these days, many people, uh, they, when when they do the, the inquiries, they also do all uh, these questions. So how long does it take and how much money would I have to spend if I want to, to learn proper English and faster, faster and cheap. That's, that's the, the ideal, but come on, let's be honest. How fast do you want to, to learn English? Well, uh, if you want to learn English faster, that's the thing. Um, what I always say when it comes to practice is that if you want to learn English faster, you need to cut down a bit the level of information that comes to you. Um, what I always say, many, a lot of you who are my, my students, I always say this, uh, try to practice watching movies, listening to music and exposing yourself all the time as long as you can to the language. But in terms of uh, learning English faster, what I always say is that you need to reduce or cut down the level of information that, can, that, that comes to you. When I say, well, I want to learn in terms of a bit, bit business English or um, I want to learn English conversation. If I expose myself, uh, the more I expose myself to this huge amount of information, um, on conversation, of course, you will face a lot of different topics in, in, in conversation. Many people talking about this and that. And this is the moment when you get confused because you have a lot of vocabulary coming to you and you don't know well uh, uh, how to process that level, that, that level of information. Maybe you have, if you manage to get the gist, the topic, the idea, well, that's great. Because you 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 uh, you already know these words and you know um, the topic and you can follow the conversation. But when it comes to learn faster, how to make uh, you know these patterns we we always talk about you know these patterns to start a conversation to to make questions to to uh, know uh, how to, uh, to 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 listen well when a, when a question comes to you and and you get to understand the full meaning of it this is the moment when you need to maybe uh reduce the level of information so if you listen a conversation of two people talking about the weather well maybe it's going to be uh even easier for you to get the gist of, of, okay, they're talking about the weather. But what happens when two people are talking about the weather? It's just a low level of synonyms of words. You know, uh, there there are uh, adjectives and other words that are repeating over and over again when they talk about the weather. So if you want to know how to start a conversation in terms of uh, talking about the weather or all that that is about reducing the level of information that you get when you well i want to practice this topic when when i when it, okay listen to people and repeat phrases patterns and stuff related to that situation and then i say it again you cut down the level of information that comes to you and then you will be even more uh, fluent when when it comes to listening, when it comes to uh, uh, answering question, or or just you know, uh, how can you believe this weather or some some phrase like that? Just just imagine yourself doing that. 
but you need to expose yourself. The more you expose yourself, the better is going to be the 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 the, 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 the level of output when you when you when you communicate. So that's great if you do that. I repeat, you cut down the information that comes to you and then you just focus on that. This is my advice when it comes to learn English faster. And also uh, watching these videos, for example. Well, you see in the title of this video, maybe it says how to learn English faster. Okay, you knew, you already knew that this video was about to this. It was about to, it was, it was about this. It was about uh, how to learn English faster. Maybe it's tricky because, you know, there is no trick to learn English faster. You just have to practice. But this is my advice. Once again, reduce the level of information. And then you will master some areas of English. If you do business English, of course, do the same. But uh, apply this uh, information that comes to you in, in this area on, I don't know, everyday situations, on communication, on telephone, talking, spelling, or something like that. And then move to other stuff once you got them first and then move move on to other other things but don't be so open if you want to get this goal of learning faster when it comes to uh learning english in general i i i, I try to say okay yes yes you need to uh if you have the time yeah expose yourself as long as you can uh, don't overexpose, of course, you need to do something else on, on your life and uh, you will be like overexposed. That's, I don't, I don't think it, it, it will work. But once you got basic vocabulary on talking about the weather, for example, then you will get to other, other, other topic. I don't know, on business English, I need to learn how to speak uh, with my colleagues in my job. Well, Go to this area and expose yourself to this vocabulary once over and over again. And then you will move on with these things. And other, other advice, another advice would be like um, watch TV series or, you know, TV shows, um, comedy sitcoms, because the language they use is, you know, like a regular everyday language. So you will get to understand and as a result, you will understand even better and you will feel uh, not so frustrated because sometimes people overexpose themselves to, to English and situations like, like that. And they, 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 don't, they don't have, like I said before, the right exposure to this topic. So if you cut down and you watch uh, a, a sitcom uh, like a, half an hour every day, you will know what is going on because it's just 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and then you move on, move on to uh, to other episode and the situation changes. But the language they use, especially in the sitcoms, in American sitcoms, is like an everyday language. It's easier for you to understand uh, expressions, the way, this, the, the way they talk, which is not so hard to understand if you have this intermediate level. Well, People, this is it for today's lesson. This is uh, intended for my intermediate level students. I hope you enjoyed this little conversation. Remember, we are getting to this year end and I hope everybody is doing well. I wish you the best for uh, these uh, holidays and I hope um, 2023 is going to be a great, great year for all of us. So um, signing off. Your English teacher here, your best friend, Juan, your English teacher. See you soon. Take care and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.